Ulna. Ilium. Hmm. Ilium. Congratulations, you found 23 bones. And where'd you get that? It's a great way to learn this stuff. At Livescribe.com. There's a ton of neat stuff up there. This is awesome. There are study guides, games, and interactive charts. You can search by subject, by school, and class. Nice! You've got Got It cards, too. I made some for myself and posted them on the web for sale. Now I get a check each month. No way! Yeah, I did one for macroeconomics, one for biology. When messenger RNA is translated into protein, to what does the transfer RNA bind? Right, it binds to its amino acid. Excellent. What else do you have? You can practice your Spanish pronunciation. At the tone, say empezar. 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 Yikes, sounds like I've got some practicing to do. You know, that sounds like Professor Lopez. It is. He worked on it with me. What else have you got? Check this out. The pen instructs you to create your own page of notes in your notebook, and then it will teach you associated facts and quiz you. You mean I can actually quiz myself with my own notes? My sister tweaked this to change my class-specific guide into a general version that's being used by kids at colleges across the country. And we're both getting hefty checks. And this one sells like crazy. Awesome. And you say it's easy to make these things? Come on over tonight and I'll show you. Evan, try this line. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Hey, this line deserves a sound effect. Yeah, do it. Wait, try this one. <laughs> okay, now what? It's easy. We just save the file, publish the card to the pen, then we print the card. That's it? I told you it was easy. Try it. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Excellent! Have you seen this? No, I haven't. What is it? One of your students made a great annotated version of a study guide for your material on equilibrium in the macroeconomy. The point where the aggregate supply intersects the demand curve represents a state of balance and equilibrium. How did you do this? It's easy! Thank <laughs> you.